So welcome back. Yeah, it's really awesome to have everyone here um, supportive of the Bapuni District Health Board's commitment. Did you know that Te Mataway is being legislated by Parliament acknowledging that Te Reo Māori is the first language of this country? So it's an official language, yes, with English, sign language, and Te Reo Māori. This is uh, Te Reo Māori Language Week. This is about celebrating and being proud uh, to speak our language. It's not a Māori language only. This is a commitment that we have under the Treaty of Waitangi. This recognises that whoever lives in this country, Māori, non-Māori, that, you know, this language belongs to all of us. This is our language. No ku te reo, mine is the language. No te reo Māori, the Māori language belongs to you also. No tātou te reo Māori, so it belongs to everyone. So we're going to learn a basic waiata. Can you say that? Waiata. Wai means waters that flow. Ata actually means the dawning of a new day. That's beautiful, isn't it? Waiata, the waters that flow. Ata, dawning of a new day. The word waiata, can you say that with me? Waiata. Waiata. Everyone? Waiata. Waiata. So it came about in... Ancient times, the, the, the definition and the meaning behind this name is when sky and uh, earth were bound together as one. They had the children of the environment, primarily Tane representing the forests, Tangaroa representing the ocean and the waterways, Tafiri Matea representing the winds, Papatuanuku the earth, Ranginui the sky. Tumatawenga, the strength that is within us as humans and strength within nature itself. Ruomoko, geothermal energy. So all these elements wanted to come forth from darkness. Te po, can you say that? Te po, darkness. Again go. Te po, the great night. Te po nui, your turn. Te po nui. Te po roa, the long night. Okay, te po tango tango, the intensely dark night. And so they were thrust apart from one of their children of the environment called Tāne. And so because of the love between sky and earth, the tears that, f that flowed in terms of their separation became the rain, the waiata, and the mist became the, the expression of love that the earth, through the mist, showed to the sky. Through Waiata, it also enables us to learn about historical events that are remembered forevermore. So we're going to learn a Waiata Ngaho. This is a very simple, basic song, but I think you can learn it for Māori Language Week. It's called Ma Te Aroha, Ma Te Aroha, Ma Te Aroha. So mate aroha, it is through the power of love. Mate aroha, through the power of love. Mate aroha, through the power of love. Ka ora e. Yeah, I, will, I will live forever. I will be sustained in all the things that I do. Mate aroha. Your turn. Uh, mate aroha. Mate aroha ka ora e. Okay, and the next one. <clears> oh <throat> my toringa. So give forth to me your hand. Oh my toringa. Oh my toringa. Get forth your hand and I will give you mine. And through that we can walk together in unity. Whakapiri mai Whakapiri mai Whakapiri mai Ka ora e Whaka piri mai, your turn. Whaka piri mai, whaka piri mai, 
Kaorai. So come together in unity. Come together in unity. Let us stand together in unity and we can walk together in the future. Mate aroha. Mate aroha. Mate aroha. Kaorae. Kaorae. So this is a really good song uh, that you can learn for Te Reo Māori, Māori Language Week. Mā te aroha, uh, may the power of love, mā toringa, through coming together, give me your hand. Whakapini mai, through the strength of unity, all things are possible. Kia ora tātou katoa.